Hello and welcome to my video. My name is Karen with Fairy Garden Bath and today we are doing a part two on making a hand soap. And this is going to be a foaming hand soap because um, I couldn't quite figure out how to do a gel hand soap. I think I need some kind of thickener but I don't have one so we're just going to go with a foaming hand soap today. So let's just get started. First up, we're going to do our surfactants and they will be popping up on the screen for you. We have our Bioturge AS40 and I'm making a 250 gram batch today. Next up we have, I can't say this, so I'm just going to say it's Coca Betaine. I'm afraid I would just butcher it trying to say it. Alrighty. Next up, we have a mild surfactant. It's BSB. And next we need, oh, I didn't grab it. One second, I'll be right back. Sodium lactate. And that is it for our surfactants. Now we're just gonna give them a stir. And while you're mixing, you're going to see that they are going to thicken up quite a bit. It's, um, if you saw the other video, you see the other surfactants that I did were really, really, really thick. I called it like a goo blob because it was so thick and like blob like. This is much, much better. It's not, it's thick, but it's not a blob. So now on to the water and I'm using distilled water you're always going to want to use distilled not water not tap water I'm going to be putting in a little bit of glycerin. This is our humectant. And a little bit of provandol, and this is another humectant. The provandol is similar to glycerin, it's just not as thick. And for a little bit of moisturizer, I'm putting in deal panthenol. This will kind of help make the soap uh, not so harsh on your skin. And finally, a little bit of fragrance and liquid dermal plus. We always want to put a preservative. If you're making anything with water, you're going to want a preservative. And I would recommend the Liquid Dermal Plus. It's a very easy preservative to work with. And we're just going to give everything a good stir. Make sure I got all the preservative out of there. Once this is all incorporated really well, we will take our surfactants and mix them together. Here we 
to go and it is again you know it's a little thick but it's definitely like I said not a blob like last time I don't think I had the amounts right this is much much easier to work with There we go. Now we're just going to mix it all together. There we go. So it is all mixed together. The surfactants are mix into the water really good. I've uh, picked up some bubbles, but that's not a huge deal. They will go down. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to cover this and I'm going to let it sit overnight. And uh, so the bubbles will go down and hopefully it'll clear up and look nice and clear. All right, it's the next day and it did definitely clear up. You'll see that it's uh, most of the bubbles have gone down too. There's a little bit of bubbles, but not too bad. But it's much clearer than it was. And for the bottle, I found these little uh, eight ounce bottles on Amazon. And my 250ml batch didn't quite fill it up all the way, so next time I'll probably do a uh, 300ml batch. But that's okay, as a test run, this was pretty good. This worked out okay. And that is that. Is that. I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. Um, it was way easier to work with than the last time. And yeah, I'm quite happy with it. So that is how to make a foaming hand soap. I hope you liked the video. If you did, give me a like and a subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.